Welcome back to Banjo Tooie. It is now time to get to my favorite level in the game. The game over screen. I haven't seen that very often, to be honest. Well, that's good. Uh -huh. I didn't think this game had lives. So we just uh, pop into this bubble here. It'll take us to the final level in the game. Final standard level, I should say. No! <laughs> Up we go. And then we stopped. Whoa! <laughs> Welcome to Cloud Cuckoo Land! Clu Clu Land. Oh, sorry, Cuckoo Land. You know why it's called Clu Clu Land? Because nobody has a clue clue how to play it? Because you turn a lot in that game. You know what it means in Japanese to turn? Clue. Kudu. Kudu. Uh, so it's Kudu Kudu, Kudu, Kudu Land. Kudu 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 Land. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Starting off the bat, we got some holes to dig up. Wow! Oh. There's already an empty honeycomb. Actually, right that's, that. that's pretty awesome. It's, okay. it's being nice to me right now. This is my favorite level. Look at this! We got a, <laughs> a weird looking bean seed thing. Trade it for a cow. And spring shoes, which we'll use here in just a little bit. Wow, it's actually very colorful up some here. eggs. This is nice. Dan, some nothing. That, well, can I have the nothing? Dan, a honeycomb. No, I don't want that. I want the nothing. And a second weird-looking bean. So here's what you do. Line it up just so. And you grab these spring shoes, uh -huh. dash oh, on over that, here. That glare is annoying. Yeah, yeah the, the lens flare is not helpful in this world. You launch yourself right over there. Uh-huh. Go over to this guy. Why is that lens flare even there? Hey there, buddy. Fancy a little physical exercise. Bring it on. Bring it on! <laughs> this is Mr. Fit! I think he showed up in Nuts and Bolts a couple of times. Mr. Fit the Aardvark. He, he comes straight from Rare. He's got three sort of, uh, sporting events throughout this level that we gotta beat him in. Okay. The first one is the high jump, and well, he can <laughs> I mean, I mean, come I on. See, I uh, see, I yeah, see. Yeah, all right. So you just, uh, jump on over. And... Just gotta clear it. There you go. Okay. How did <laughs> Unfair! Ah, he's going to different events. Got it. I hope he makes that. It, so now he's got a sack race in these brambles that we're gonna have to get to later. Oh, I thought he just jump cut to the next event. He did. It, oh. oh, well, okay. Whatever gets him over there. So, I... Like I mentioned, this is my favorite level. Mm-hmm. Because uh, this is it. What do you mean? There's a big mountain in there. Everything else is out here. Oh, so you're saying there's no, like, five different junctions that we need to go to? It's just the mountain and outside? You know how every level uh, has been, like, three yeah. episodes? Yeah. This one, only two. Oh. Uh, and there's not even any backtracking. We're going to get uh, everything the first go uh, round. Oh, yay. It is so nice. So well, I mean, after lovely. collecting, like, ten million power-ups, I, I would hope we would have enough to clear an entire level. How? Get that lens flare out of here. I know, it's, it's ridiculous. Rare, what are you doing? Got these eyeball plants over here, you get too close. Oh, gross. There's a jiggy in there, but uh, can't really get in there much. Oh, we need a power-up to turn invisible. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah! George Ice Cube! Right! Uh, your wife was in Hailfire Peaks and told us to find you. Cool. Okay. If you're stuck up here, can we just push you off? He was walking on the icy side of Hellfire Peaks with my wife, Mildred, when a huge blizzard came and swooped him all the way up here. But how? You're an ice cube. <laughs> Lovely, dude. Shut up, Banjo! I'm afraid, oh. <laughs> I'm afraid of heights! And also, the burning rays of the sun. Right, so we'll just push him down and he'll get to the icy side, no problem. So just do that, and down he goes! We never forgot to give you a jiggy no! Oh shit, he miscalculated! Oh, uh, well... We killed him for the greater good. And so now, that pool of boiling water... Is no longer boiling. So now it's ready to be a swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> we had to murder a man! To get a pool for some stupid kids! <laughs> They start going, yay, a pool! And they just come out covered in red. It's just like a pool of blood. 
Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Wow, that was fast. Hey, Globo! Oh, this is the last of the Globos, too. There are two more- there are two Globos per level. I know, but the, the last of them will be in this level. Yes. I mean, unless we just happen uh, to find a couple more before sorry, not we true. fight the sisters. Uh... There's one- there is a, there are two Globos we're missing in Isle of Hags. Because there is a Mumbo Skull and a Wumba totem in there as well. Wow. Yeah, oh, come on. I don't know if this lens flare is a 360 thing or an N64 thing. Either way, it's bad. <laughs> so you get in the air, these things start taking, uh... Start taking notice, and they'll start firing shit at us, too. It, I think. Oh, yep, yep, yeah, they're shooting themselves. We can't do anything with them, though, because, <laughs> you know, we can't break the eyeballs. What a thing to say. I know. Only in the medium of video games can I say, I can't break the eyeballs. So what on earth are we going to become, an eyeball? Well, uh, we'll deal with that oh. in a little bit. First of all... Uh -huh. <laughs> it's you again! Oh! Alright, everybody, uh... Everybody at home, get your controllers out! We're gonna have uh, a little bit of fun here, uh... Alright, let me grab one. Let me get, one. Let me get the, the, the... With the power of the Xbox Series X, it's time to push buttons. It is time to push buttons, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Alright. Get, get, lo loosen up your thumb. Get it ready, because we're ready, we're ready. this is what people are talking about when they say, I hate Canary Mary. All right, if that was bad in the mine, it's worse here. Press X as fast as you can. We got this uh, floating little uh, roller coaster car to go and just uh, mash X fast as you can. Three, two, two one. Oh, uh, uh, wait. Three, three two, two, one, go. go. Not too bad, right? Uh, no. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. Except okay. this probably goes on for like two minutes, right? Uh, it's it's not, not as long as you think. Oh, well, that's, Besides, that's good. Uh, this is also great because we get to see uh, you know a nice fly by the level. Yeah, this is actually there's, really nice. There's Mumbo's skull over there. Uh, a lot of <laughs> a, a lot of this level is uh, explored through the flight pad, uh -huh. yeah. which is very, very nice. There's another Mumbo skull. Two of them? Two of them. Uh oh, okay. All right, well, uh, you know, probably. Oh, wait, that was it? Probably just for, you know, that, you know... So we can just slow down and, a little uh, bit. Yep. And uh, there we go, we made it! No, oh, well, that that actually wasn't too bad. Really? That's that's what people hate Canary Mary for? That, that race? Time for round two! <laughs> okay. I guess maybe it's just because of her looks? Maybe? I don't know. Round two it is. Yep, yep, I knew it. Round two. Yep. Usual prize will suffice. Get us, give us the jigs. Give the jig is up. Come on now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give it to me right now. <laughs> Banjo notices, we just made her broke! Oh, yep, there it is. But she does indeed have round two. I also found... Because she found another, pa another piece of paper, oh, another Cheeto page. Oh, that's a Cheeto page. Try and win it, she says. Well, all right, I'll hop on and we'll do it. Oh, wait, you didn't collect the jiggy. It'll, it'll still be there, don't worry. Oh, how is your how is your hand ready Let's for go. this? Let's go. All right, let me guess. Rubber band? It's got... All right, we'll speed it up a little bit because, you know, just press an X. This one is way longer than the first oh, round because we're going God. through right here this trash can there. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's good. Oh, that's where Canary Mary belongs. Yep, and uh, something awful happened around this time. Uh, your controller died. No. Oh, uh, rubber... Something worse. Rubber banding. She rubber bands, but that's not the bad thing that happened. What, what the hell happens? If you listen closely, you can hear her. I hear her. Here she comes. Wait, seriously? She's co oh, she's she's gaining fast. What, Here are she you is. fucking serious? No! And I got tired. Oh no! I, I'm like, get come. Well, uh, well, this is what happens when you do round uh, two directly after round one. Uh, are, you, are you kidding me? I, my my hands are shaking. I'm like. <laughs> Need to take a break on this one. Okay. Oof, uh. Uh, I gotta keep pressing X to get over there. Uh, uh. I don't want to press X to lose. Uh. Okay. Uh. This, oh, old, God. this old bird shark still can't fly. Shut the fuck uh, up. Oh, I, I would love to do that again, but I'm d we'll, 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 we'll be back in a little bit. Okay. How about we get it at the end of the level? How about we'll, that? We'll get it here in a little in a little while. We let's let's do some stuff with Wumba first. We got our Globo. We won't need Mumbo for a little while yet. Well, you know, we gotta explore the level some more. So, here, take your Globo, change us into something cool. Turn me into a flower. Turn me into. Why a would bird. you be a flower? Turn me into a, a bag of beans. Why would you be a bag of beans? Turn me into a potato. Think practically, man. Turn me into a pinata. Think click clock wood, man. Think, uh, okay, turn me into annoyance. How about a bee? Another bee. Great. Great. 
It's, it works just the same as uh, Click Clock Wood did, except you can press left trigger and right trigger to fire stingers. And that, my friend, is how you kill the eyeball plants. You poke them in the eye? Well, it, you, you, you fire them, so. Oh! You, you, you fired the stingers. See, like that. It's, it's, oh, 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 God, oh, no. But they're everywhere, though. There's more than one. You gotta find them. You gotta find the real one. Another, another nice fly around the level, just to kind of see what we're dealing with here. That is cool. It's a, it's a big old mountain, a lot of yeah. places here, a lot of places to go Very into. Very nice. Everything is nicely put out and, uh, you know, as, as a landmark by, you know, colors and all that. I like seeing that. We got, we got the red part up here, we got the trash can over here, we got a pot of gold over there, we got a beehive somewhere. <laughs> Do you think Banjo is, like, in his head going... <laughs> So is this technically reusing content? Well, we can fire a stinger, so... And besides, we have a, we had a transformation for every single level. They did, they went above and beyond. Alright, I guess. But at what cost? Well, I don't know. How much did it cost to make this game? It, hmm. Very good question, actually. What is happening? I like to think that's my wings, maybe? I, I should hope so, otherwise everything is breaking. Purple. Alright. Don't think you need to do it all in order. Just as long as that's you kill nice. the eyeball plants, is that that's the hint they give you. Oh, wait, it's up there. Up here? It's up there. <laughs> there you are. There you are. Get out <laughs> Eyeballless Jigium plants! You've killed them all. That's right, Grunty. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but yeah. here's our second Jiggy! We haven't, we haven't even yeah. been here 15 minutes. We got two fucking jiggies. I love it. And a honeycomb. Progress. Incredible. Progress. I love this level. <laughs> There's far less busy work here. Thank God. They used all their ideas and all the other levels, and then they came to this level and were just like, eh. Dartboard. Buzz up here at the top of this trash can. Oh my God, another? A honeycomb. That's the last one, isn't it? There's or no, there's three. There's three. Three. There's one more. All right. Still, that's two. That's nice. If I can just... Just, just gotta land. I can, I, I can ascend just fine, but descending go. is a bit of a problem. There we <laughs> go. You said it, Sparks. <laughs> Sparks, close friend of B Banjo. Man, now I miss Spyro games. <laughs> I'm gonna play it after we're done here. This is the pot of gold. But what does it do? Oh, wait, you said pot of gold. Okay, yes. never mind. What do you think I said? Eh, pot of greed. <laughs> Whatever the hell that thing does. I gotta draw two cards, Kazooie. But what does it do? I it, love that uh, meme, by the way. <laughs> pot's your greed, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna take my greed, I'm gonna put it in a pot, and save it for later. <laughs> there you go. I don't need my greed. Here, you can have it. Went down to the flower store and got some potted greed. <laughs> Do you think if you let your greed grow, it becomes, like, extravagance or something like that? Well, if I can just sell a pot of greed, I mean... <laughs> Hello, my name is Pot of Greed. Hmm. I'm Where? very philanthropic, you see. Where are you going? Oh, there you are. So they're flying by through the level. I feel like there's something I'm missing. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just being crazy. Zola UDJ, just... That, that wonderful buzzing sound. It's... I get, got, love to hear it. What do you think Banjo's nickname is whenever he becomes a bee? That's ben right, Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Banjo. He doesn't get a nickname. Trick, <laughs> qu trick question. Okay here, okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the Zubba Hive at the top of the mountain. Wait, what? I thought that was a Jinjo. Alright, so... Jinjo statue. Set up here, and you just shoot you just that target, shank. shoot that target, try and shoot the target, find a way to shoot the target if you can shoot the target. Break shoot the that target! Then he's like, wow, hey, not bad. Shoot this 20 times uh, in 10 oh. seconds. Go. Go, 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 go. Y you should be good at mashing. Yeah. Hey, you did it. You hold the button and it does it. Oh, okay. That's good. So, hey, come on in. Awesome. So, you, uh, remember Banjo-Kazooie? They had that lovely bee noise that was just, just, just lovely to hear. 
You're heading into a hive. They kind of avoided that. Oh, really? For most of Banjo 2. I mean, there's a couple of things that have that buzzing sound, like the flies in level 1 mm -hmm. and, you know, Banjo right now, but they haven't done it a whole lot yet. <laughs> that's that's one asset they haven't really used. I mean, <laughs> the, the, the beehives don't even have the bees surrounding them anymore. They just they just get angry eyes and start marching after you. So here's a little uh, shooting game. The Zubba's are like, hey, come on, uh, do you come on for a shooting game. It's f score 40 points. Okay. It's pretty pretty obvious, you know. Uh, get get 50 points, you get an extra prize. So 50 points in however many seconds. Do we need an explanation? Of course, of course we did. It's it's just just shoot, just my, shoot, shoot my friends. My friends. I, th I think I needed the clarification. You you, you <laughs> sorry. You want me to shoot you? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, okay. So sixty seconds, fifty points. Blue ones three, green ones two, oh, red okay. ones one. So yada, yada, yada. same color coding. Got you. All right. Not too not, not too difficult. And you know uh, we got the turbo. Ex except for the buzzing. Except well, the buzzing isn't that bad, is it? Oh my god! This is my nightmare! Ah! I, it's just a I don't I don't think I don't think I like this very much, dude. I d I don't I don't think I like this very much, dude! Just hit the mute button, you'll be okay! I don't think I like this very much, Talk dude! To me. Get me out of here! There's so much buzzing! So, so, uh, it come, the sound comes back in full force. Not only is it here for 60 glorious seconds, more if you uh, fail to get the prizes, <laughs> but it's layered on top of one another a whole bunch of times! Oh, God. Oh, you gotta love it. Oh, you gotta love it, yes. <laughs> so, wait, uh, did I see 60 points and you get two prizes? If it's 50 points, you get two prizes, you get 60 seconds. Oh, 60 seconds, okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, we totally got it. Now, let the buzzing end. Thank you. God, eat lead, mother buzzer. Get out of here. Second prize, which is a Cheeto page. And then first prize. Wait. Is a smile. Oh, wait, really? Oh, first prize. Okay, God. That's nah, Jiggy. I'm actually very surprised the Cheeto page is not first prize. Aren't those supposed to be more rare? Sometimes it's first prize, sometimes it's second prize. No, all right. Just silvers and golds for the Cheeto pages, I guess. Yeah, because you, you beat Canary Mary in the heart around, you get a Cheeto page, you uh, get the second prize in this easy, easy shooting game, you get the Cheeto page, it's just... Wait, 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 wait. Who is this easy for? Because you just had to endure a minute's worth of buzzing. I, I, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm not like it. But, 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 but I'm just, you know, I'm just playing this like... Mm. <laughs> Mmm, that's, that's, that's an eargasm if I've ever heard mm, one. Mmm, lovely, lovely, love lovely. That. Mm. Grab the jiggy! Thank you. Like, I'm not six anymore. I don't go, oh, scary game! I can't play no more! Oh. <laughs> I can just see him ejecting the disc and just chucking it across the room. It'd be really weird because it's a cartridge at this time. Uh, well, that's true. Chuck so, the cartridge. Right. That's, a, that's about all we can do as B, really. That, 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 that's about it. Yeah we, yeah, we got the eyeball thing. We got mm -hmm. the stuff at the top of the trash can and all that. So yeah. we, we got those extra stuff. We got uh, the, the the Zubba thing. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, we're good. We got it. Nice. Yeah, we, that's that's uh, B stuff is done. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think I think we're good. That's about it. So uh, uh, I've been holding the triggers and my hands calmed down. Let's try Canary Mary one all more right, time. Alright, grab the controller. Don't worry, folks. I'm gonna give you a guaranteed way to beat Canary Mary. Do you just hold the button? Oh, no, nothing like that. You have to mash it. All right. All right. Don't go too fast. Really? That's it? Just oh, kinda, it's, a, it's a set speed, isn't just it? Just kind of keep up, you know, stay a little bit ahead. Not too far. You don't want to mash up too much. Just enough to get... Uh... The, enough to just get a little bit of distance. So that way she starts to, to come around, you know. Yeah, uh -huh, just kind of yeah. keep, keep her there. It's all right, though. Just Keep it slow. So Keep does it, it adjust to the speed in which you mash, or she, is it just... She does have rubber banding. The faster you mash, the faster you go, the faster she'll go. So if you just... Oh, wait. Like, here oh, we okay, go. Okay, now we should probably speed uh, it up dude, just, a, just a little uh, bit. Dude. Just a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. Just gotta speed up a little you bit. You say that, but... It's fine. See? It's, it's, it's all right. It's all good. Just, just keep her within our sights. That way she won't rubber band. Is this gonna be a finish line victory? 
It's like right at the end, we just okay. peep it. Oh, I see you right. going right up the ass. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting there a lovely view of Canary Mary. <laughs> I thought I never wanted to see, but here we are. I want to die. Yep, I'm, I'm uh, going to bleach my uh, eyes out. Oh, here I go. Toss there them I, off, I'm, toss I'm off the cliff. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. Please kill me. All right. All right, here we go, right at the end. Right. Down the hill. Uh, yep, yep. Right, here we go, here we go. Let's do it. Here we go, fast <laughs> she is. Neck and neck. Yeah! I think we're just gonna get just fast enough so that she can't <laughs> go, run back. Oh, go, fuck! Go, oh, go, fuck! Go, oh, go, oh, go. Oh. Did we win? I think we did. Neck and neck. Did we do it? Did we, did we do it? Neck and neck? But she... Yeah, we oh, did it! Oh my god! We did it! That seemed impossible! So that's basically the, the best idea I can give you. Just, just... Keep it slow. Don't make it so that you can rubber band and zoom ahead of you and you're tired by the end. Just keep oh it slow. Keep it steady. And then you, you'll you probably barely win at the end. I can't believe that. That is the worst rubber banding I've seen in a long time. Uh, all right, now. Canary Mary, get the fuck out of my game. I'm off to the sun. Jeez. <laughs> well. At least I got that Cheeto page. Is that the last of the Cheeto pages? I don't believe so, because we still have, there's still some we missed in other levels. Oh, wow. Well. They do have enough to get one, though. <gasps> Yay. These take you from island to island, so you're never stranded, which is also very nice. Oh, just, I thought you were going straight to the wall. <laughs> just increases maneuverability. That's very lovely. Love, love of that. Um, uh, oh, here we go. All right, let's actually go inside the mountain now. This is kind of like a bit of a central hub. For there are only two warp points in this level that I could find. Nope, yep. Down. Good. Down. Good. Reversed, I know. Okay. Yeah. There yeah. we okay. go. Okay, all right. 95 more notes to go! All right, woo! <laughs> I do love how you were maneuvering Banjo and he was straight as a bullet. Mm -hmm. Just, just... <laughs> Rigor mortis. Oh, what the f Fuck are these? If I could find uh, one problem with this, it's, it's it's the enemy. The enemy placements are is just awful in this game. Because there's there's no rhyme or reason to them. They they don't offer any challenge. They just offer delay of game. But what are they? They look like cutouts. They make a little cha-ching noise. I I'm guess they're like what cheap skates or something. I don't know. Well. You know, that would be kind of a clever enemy if they were actually on skates and they just, like, were just money. And they sounded like Mr. Krabs. They're, they're just there to money. not make you too comfortable. Money. Speaking of Mr. Krabs, did I ever tell you the wild adventure I went on when I let YouTube recommend me videos? It's always a wild adventure, isn't it? It's, it's so intriguing that it can get this weird. But did you know that there is actually more than one video of crabs being destroyed, basically? Destroyed? Like, okay, let me get the give the least graphical example. There was a video of a crab that just fell off a cliff. You know, it happened. Somebody caught it on tape. Oh. But somebody added Mr. Krabs over it. So whenever the crab was moving, it was just like, money, money, money. And then after the crab met with a terrible fate, it was just ear-piercing screaming. And there's multiple videos of this. Uh -huh. It was so fucked up! Uh -huh. I was just like, why are you recommending this to me? Because always has some things to hatch here. I forget how to hatch down that side. It just didn't. There we go. By the way, I also went in the comments and somebody said, why are there more than one of these? It, whoa! That's a rare Flotus Floatium creature! Oh, I'm sure! It makes Banjo float and, and uh, get over there. It, oh, okay. that's a molehill, only for Banjo. Of course. And here's a Jinjo, only for Kazooie. I love that we're still separating the duo. It's just like if Luigi finally got his own adventure, he would fi finally be separated. Still got some split up here, but it's it's not that egregious, believe it or not. Doesn't it's, it's it's not abysmal. It's not awful. I don't feel like ripping my hair out. It's just these enemy placements that get me get my hair out. But I have no more hair to rip out. I do not look good bald. Hmm. Nah, you wouldn't. I had really short hair when I was sixteen. I looked dreadful. <laughs> I've actually seen that picture recently. Dreadful. <laughs> 
So uh, you taxi pack this uh, Floatium Flotus thing, and then. Uh, uh, oh. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. You got 14 seconds of floating. I kind of like that. Banjo's like, oh, but also enjoying it. Four, three, two, two one. It, it just suffocates. God, I still think that's hilarious that you actually shrink in the bag. I believe this is the final love, uh, final move in the game. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's the sack pack. Why? What? This is how we win the second event. Are you kidding me? Nope. We couldn't have thought of this any other times we've been able to get into the bag. Well, look at Banjo. I mean, look, look, Kazooie, we have to teach her how to fly. That's so stupid. But now we can get into the bag and sack race. I mentioned this several times, but in ukulele, being able to just throw Lele up and start flying anywhere you want, it is beautiful. Wow, I mean, I mean, look at this. Why wasn't this, like, one of the first things you could do? That hey, wait is a, a great question. Hey, wait a minute. Now that I think about it, in Banjo, Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Yes. Do you keep all the moves? <laughs> the okay, that was a stupid question. You start the game fat. And you forget all your moves. That's how they get past Kazooie it. Kazooie has her wings clipped. Are you kidding me? She can't fly. Who did that? I don't know, but, she, you know, Gruntilda's only ahead when she comes back for Nuts and Bolts. Yeah! Banjo, Banjo and Kazooie are both fat, washed-up has-beens. Did, did Conker come by and just clip Kazooie's wings for the fun of it? And then all of a sudden, uh, Gruntilda's like, I'm back, I'm ahead, I'm gonna fight you, I'm gonna win! And they're like, we'll see about that, and they're about to fight, but then... Mr. TV comes in. The the Lord of Games comes in and says, oh, that's oh, it. Nope, we got we gotta settle this once and for all. You guys are gonna come down to Showdown Town, and I'm gonna give Gruntilda all this cool stuff and all these different inventions and parts to make her own car, and you guys get a cart. It seems a little biased. It is very biased, yes. I mean, it gets you from point A to point B, I guess. God, do you think we should do nuts and bolts? No. Should I do nuts and bolts? No. Hmm. It will not be as fun as you think it is. Okay. It will be better than you may think it is. Like I said, I've warmed up to nuts and bolts since I played it from uh, Kazooie. That's because I have ukulele now and I don't feel much animosity towards it anymore. Hmm. Because you found a worse game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dog and Rapa 3! <laughs> A lot of people would have words to say about that. What, that they agree with me? <laughs> that it's polarizing. Huh. It is split down the middle. What did you tell me about the ending? I'm like, yeah, good thing I got out of this stupid series. <laughs> like, you give me one game with a sa with a unsatisfying ending, fine. Two games with an unsatisfying ending? Okay, now you're just jerking my- But no, every single one ends to satisfyingly? Fuck off! Why should I- I still think people would have words with you. Let them have words! I am listening! Wait! No, I'm not! But you can send them anyway, and I'll laugh. Send them to my email at... So! <laughs> at this, the this, at gmail.com This is a safe. I forgot his name, he's like safe cracker whatever. Safey. He's got four special switches mm -hmm. that can only be activated by Kazooie's clockwork eggs. And uh, they spell... Oh, I can never do these things right. Like, they never work when I want them to, and when they Wait, do work, it's just... How is that supposed to work? Do they have to hit a wall, or do they have to hit... I don't know, because they hit they hit the wall and they explode, but they hit the... But it's, they it's hit just... up there, and then they don't explode. Yeah, see, look! What? Why? Uh, how? Whatever people are doing, I'm not doing it right! Fuck this! Wow. I wasted all my goddamn clockwork gags I gathered over the last level and a half to go fucking get them. I have God actually it. never seen a game okay. waste time like that. That's that's just a quick way of doing it that that's, speedrunners and professionals do. But, they uh, literally changed the mechanics so you wouldn't so you can't cheat it. That is amazing. So you, you come up here, you you launch that thing, and it's supposed to go over here like that. Wait, I just realized, Kazooie is now, like, 
part mechanical bird if she's shitting out clockwork? It's just her eggs. It, well, okay. But how's she laying these eggs? That's that's all robot. Well, why does she need a pad to fly? I think she might be mechanical. <laughs> it might be game mechanical. <laughs> Kazooie, have you ever thought that we're in a video game? Shut up, Andrew. No, she says as she rolls her eyes to camera. <laughs> and then it, it cuts to black. She has one of those get a load of this guy faces to the camera. Mm -hmm. like, get a load of this, this guy. This guy, come on. Self-aware games. There's still a niche for them. I still think they're funny. D just, just, just put no, a lid on it. No wind to tone it down. Don't go ape with it. I always go back to Rayman 3. A game I stopped playing because it just wouldn't stop with the fucking video game references, which is totally not what Rayman 2 was about. I don't like Rayman. That's okay. I'm probably very alone. You know what's that. not you know what's not okay? Rayman 3. Uh, uh, ow. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay! I remember getting Rayman 2 for PlayStation. And I tried playing it, and I couldn't 100% it, so I gave up on it and hated it ever since. But the thing is, like, the newer Raymans look awesome. Like Origins and that? Yeah, I've played them, and they're great. Oh, I, 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 they drive me up a wall. So it's just like, something about PlayStation era Rayman just made me not like them. Rayman 2 is one of my favorite platformers, actually. Really? Yes. Huh. Oh, very divided then. Whoa! I don't think you meant to do that. Uh, not really. <laughs> it was the wrong button, but that's okay. I meant to land. I meant to land, but I don't really have the kind of ground pound I normally do to land, so I gotta, oh, like... Okay. Eh. Do you think Banjo is the type of bear, like, when he gets in a car, he puts it into R for race? And then wonders why he smashed it into a wall? Yeah, I put it into P for Grand Prix. <laughs> or... He needs to make a quick escape. He puts it into R for rut row. L for let's go! <laughs> I put it into one because I'm number one. Gliding takes a long time when you're trying to get around this level, so... But I'm trying to get over to this area over here. I love the fact that you can glide anywhere now. Almost anywhere. Almost anywhere. I mean, I'm kind of trapped here now, but... Well, it's fine. I, I already see the button. We're good. Kay. I see a place for Banjo, I nope. bet. Uh uh. Wait, really? Kazooie? Wait, for the B. For the clockwork. For the egg. clockwork, because inside of this. Ah! Uh, There's another switch for the safe. Four. Gee, I wonder what his, uh, what his combination could be. Uh, what year did Banjo-Tooie come out? 2000. We've already failed. We'd have to come down here anyway because this is a Kazooie-only portion of the level. Oh, I thought the door was going to close after you stepped off the... <laughs> off the button. Oh, stinky. Ugh. What is it with Rare and having levels inside trash cans? We had a trash can in DK64. Because they're British. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean anything by that. I, well, said, I said it to get that reaction out of Niskel. <laughs> well, you see, we have actually, like, what, what are those? Ch Choco Lovelies or something like that? A great snack. It's extra fatty goodness. We've got guff beans. I, I think guff means something terrible, actually. I need my British slang people back in here. Let me know if Is these that, are, like, bad words. Does that say chungus? The re... Chungus? That's chimps. Chips. Yes, chimps. Okay, I thought that's <laughs> You know, like chimps cola or guff beans. Oh, this, is, this is another mini game. Yeah, I can't, another I can't uh, it. you know three blues, three reds, one greens, two kill the things, get points. Are these like germs? <laughs> so you could to go around and start uh, trying to smack them, but just, 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 just shoot them. Just shoot the things, especially since all the blues seem to be like coming up to say hi. Yeah, there's a lot of blues here, like, oh! And how many do we need? Like 10 million? I forget. Okay. 45, maybe? 45? Well, I have a strange feeling we are going to accomplish our mission. <laughs> they, they are popping up. 
Just like, I. Kind of reminds me of Pokemon Snap a little bit. This is the Meowth that shows up. I was about to say, what Pokemon are these? Let's see, I don't think we have a germ Pokemon yet. Or is this like a, 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 a Trubbish uh, colonoscopy or something? <laughs> Going deep inside the Trubbish's asshole that it apparently has. And that's how it evolves into Garbodor. It gets a colonoscopy. <laughs> Great. If you give it a colonoscopy while holding the special item... Uh... <laughs> Never again. There's a Jinjo in here, too. There is. A real Jinjo, I may add. Oh, they are germs. I was right. Wait, hold on. Thinking through Pokemon memory banks. Is there a germ Pokemon? No, there isn't. Okay. No, there are germ trainers, though. Like Hop and Hal. <laughs> Alright, well, uh... Whoa! Basically... Uh, g g getting that Jinjo... Oh, it's like right there. He's in the can. That's a ninja. Oh, it's... Oh. How can you tell? Or did it already attack you in the you, crossfade? You, you can tell. I, th I think the more they go, Hey! Hey! Over here! Over here! I Pay attention that. to me! And if they change colors in between transitions. Ah, uh, that's the indicator. Or if it's a color of a Jinjo, you know you've already gotten the, the Jiggy for. Ugh. Oh. Uh, get on the fucking... Okay. Get on the milk. Then you uh, do a huh? flip. Then ah. there we go. Hello, you. That's a real ginger. Oh, we're close. So close. Everything's wrapping up. Oh, dead fish in there. Ew. All right, how do we get back? <laughs> now what? Uh, uh, flower. Yep. Always got these flowers here. You're never stranded. Kazooie looking like a tippy bird. <laughs> I guess that's the animation that they decided to use for that. <laughs> uh, wait, no. Yeah, I could go back to wait, Banjo, wait, no. but, but I could just die. <laughs> Kazooie, that's not the answer! No! Worst part is when you fall down the mountain, it's like, oh, yep, this is happening. It's happening. Can't don't stop it. It's going. Okay. All right, uh, let's go into Mumbo. Oh, wait. yeah, let's go into Mumbo's because the last Globo is over here. Hmm, this cool, refreshing water. Both very aquatic Globos in this level. Thing is, they're just jumping around because they act they can't breathe. <laughs> I'm the last of my kind. Ah! <laughs> Again, there's two more. Please don't let me drown. There are two Globos still in Alahax we've yet to get, but we will get. Oh, yeah. Of, of that you can bet. Wamba, there's only two left, and they're both male. What do we do? Pulls out a scalpel. Hmm, time to make it not. Alright, let's uh, check out the red one first here. Two different skulls. What do we got in here? Oh, that's a Minjo. Nope, it's a real Jinjo. Oh, wow. Cool. Awesome, actually. All right, uh, Mumbo, I haven't found any pads yet, but I think you can unlock some stuff for us here. Hey, big guy, how's it going? Uh, too early. Go to other skull. Hmm. Do not- for, What you got for me, buddy? Do not need Globo. Ah! Oh my god. It's Minji Jungo! It, uh, what? It's an evil mumbo! Really? Minji Jongo. Oh, here's our boss for the level! Oh, that is so cool! It's a big robotic mumbo! Oh, that is actually Kill him, cool! Huh? Yeah, blow his brains out! We got And look at all these gore effects they uh, recycled from Jet Force Gemini. <laughs> So that's like one of the goriest T-rated games I've ever fucking played in my life. Oh, I love it. Every, everything explodes in like colorful it, gore. Gr green goo. This is a cheat for rainbow gore. <laughs> so everything explodes in like orange and purple and white. I, all, all I, I miss want is cheat <laughs> codes. I miss cheat codes. This one's kind of tough because he's not really vulnerable for very long. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's when he's doing that. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, those those are splatter effects. Probably used from. Uh, probably end up using them in Conqueror's Bat Fur Day as well. A little bit. That, which which that, I'm sure they're they're working on at, at this very moment, aren't they? Uh, I would say so. Yeah. Unless, it, unless these games somehow take five months to make, which <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of giblets in Bad Fur Day. Well, then again, they had a lot of stuff to reissue, I guess, because it used to be a kid-friendly game, and then it wasn't. So I guess it just worked better as a mature-rated uh, poop game. I do love that Rare got so angry that people said they only make kiddie games. That they said, well, guess what? That's, be that's because of what Yoshi's Story did. Yoshi's Story was a great game, but that was the game, I guess, that people said, Oh, Nintendo's a kiddie console game. We only make kiddie games. You know, Which if Yoshi's Story indirectly created Bad Fur Day, I'm so happy. Because <laughs> I like Yoshi's Story. I like it, too. Yeah, it takes place in a pop-up book. Yeah, they're all singing happy but it's stuff. Cute. Yeah, it's, it's 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 cute. Oh, it's cute for a little I don't care! It's cute! Yeah, but they can make perfect dark, and nobody says anything oh, about shit. that. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh great! Oh great! Ah! Oh damn it! Fook. <laughs> Kazooie's just disappointed in you. So, uh, Minji Jungo will appear in either the red skull or the blue skull, and you'll know which skull you're in because the real Mumbo Jumbo has a Minjo. And the fake Mumbo Jumbo ah, has, has a, a real Jinjo. Has a real Jinjo. Gotcha. Real at the bottom, fake up top. Fake at the bottom, real up top. And reset the boss fight. Got it. Yeah, well, yeah. It's fine. Let's get a best best way to hit him is to do it when he's like recharging, polishing a stick. I find it's best to do this in the first stages because you can avoid his his attacks no problem. Because in the second phase, when you get done to half health, then his shots will start becoming homing. Oh. I did notice that, yeah. So, first first stage, just uh, go around so you can tank some hits. I noticed you didn't have homing eggs on anymore. Or do bosses not count? So, that, I still have homing eggs. Okay. No, oh, he's like right there. J just uh, how much homing is... Uh, Allowed. T t it's a, a, a variant, I suppose. Gotcha. What I think will lock onto things, sometimes it doesn't. What I think it does, and it doesn't need to be. It's, it's, it's so, ridiculous. before he does, like, his recharge animation, are you allowed to hit him? Or no? Eggs are about the only way to do any damage to him, because he, is a, he has a metal body. He's a robot assassin. I know, but, like, if you can figure out where he's teleporting in, can you, like, quickly shoot an egg before he shoots? Yes. But it's very risky. Oh, okay. High risk, high reward. You end this fight quicker. Because what could happen is that you could fire an egg and still get hit and still miss. Hmm. See, that's like the worst place he could be. Yeah, he's like barely there. I wish you could jump and shoot. Or like have my, my uh, Kazooie gun out. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be all right. That would be pretty fun. Wouldn't mind a first person battle like that. There we go. Couple more hits and that's it. Oh, see, like, that placement right there, that's perfect. Stop going in the Three. eyes. Three. Fuck. Yeah, what a great idea for a boss fight. Honestly. I thought this was the most original. Aside from the two the twin bosses in the last one. That was also cool. They were ordering a God. pizza and you killed them. Nah, come All on. Right, that's getting mean. I'm I think I'm gonna have to start tanking it here. Oh man, now it's down to two to two. Fuck! No! There! Oh, oh! One more! One more and you take his pants off. Blast the pants off that guy! That's how powerful we are. We are Banjo and Kazooie! <laughs> I have the real pants! <laughs> I have the pants in this boss fight. Yeah, I saw you charging in. <laughs> Get him! What can I do? Maybe I can just, uh... <laughs> Maybe I can just dogpile him. No more homing shots? Yeah, no more homing. I think oh, I wait, except, like, really close. Got him. This animation looks familiar. Uh, oh. Is that from Jet Force? 
It's either from Jet Force or it's from Conquer, but that looks like a it looks like a very rare N64 decapitation. Might even be perfect dark, I don't know. Bet you anything in the Japanese version of this game, head doesn't come off. Well, that's why they made him into a robot, you see. They, they made him an entire robot before they blew they blew off his head uh, in the, the green blood. Nice. Well, next time on Banjo Tui, the rest of Cloud Cuckoo Land, and something a little extra after that. See you soon! <laughs> <laughs>